The unemployment rate is up. Let's have a look. Hello everyone, Florian here and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. Grab your Stein of coffee. The Steins are at the other house at the moment. But unemployment rate has gone up, not by much, but it's been a surprise. It's gone up to 3.5% and that's higher than expectations. If we jump over to trading economics, we can see here the consensus and forecast were both 3.4%. So it's actually performing worse than what was expected at 3.5%. So let's have a look at this media release because I suspect it could be to do with more people entering the workforce or more people participating. So when times are good and there's a job boom, people stop giving up and they kind of dust off and say, okay, time to start looking for a job again. So you can see the unemployment rate actually get worse when things are getting better. So seasonally adjusted unemployment rate rose to 3.5%. I mean, that this is... This is still insanely low, this unemployment rate. In August 2022, according to data released today by the ABS, Lauren Ford, head of labor statistics at the ABS, said with employment increasing by 33,000 people and unemployment by 14,000, the unemployment rate rose 0.1 percentage points to 3.5% in August, returning to the same rate in as in June. Now, we've got there's an alternative. Look up the Roy Morgan unemployment rate. I'll bring that up here, and we'll compare that to the ABS rate. Now, what's going on here? It's not working. Hang on. Uh, unemployment rate. Come on. Is it, Okay. Australians say the Roy Morgan unemployment rate is closer to reality. Yes, that's um, that's what it is. Where is it? Why can't I find it? Maybe they've maybe they've hidden it now. Uh, essentially, essentially, here it is. You double our rate. So the Roy Morgan rate of Ju- of July twenty twenty is eight point five percent. Do they have all the other data here? Maybe they've, they've updated their website. We can see here. You kind of double the ABS rate. So they're sitting at eight point five. A bit worse than that. ABS is sitting at three point five. So it's there's different ways of collecting the data, different methodologies. I know there's a few chads out there that only work one hour. There's about 14,000 people in the country that managed to achieve that working one hour during the survey period, and they're considered employed. I mean, more power to them. That's the dream. And I wonder if, how many of those are civil servants. Uh, the unemployment rate rose to the 3.5% for men, and remain steady for women at 3.4% in round rounded terms. So women, have more women are working than more. The unemployment ratio is better for women than men. The participation rate also rose to 66.6%, consistent with the increase in employment and unemployment. The participation rate is now 0.2 percentage points below the record high in June and 0.7 percentage points higher than before the pandemic. There you go. So we're doing better than before the pandemic. The participation rate rose for men and women, both up 0.2%. Seasonally adjusted employment increased by 33,000 in August. The rise in employment and uh, the employment to population ratio increased 0.5 percentage points to 64.3%. Seasonally adjusted hours rose by 0.8% in August 2022. This Fully reversed last month's drop in hours worked. During the pandemic, we have seen changing patterns in employment and hours worked in the months with and after school holidays. The August rise in employment and hours occurred after the winter school holidays and flooding events in New South Wales, where we saw more people than usual working fewer hours in July. COVID-19 and other illnesses, illness-related work absences continued to be reflected in hours worked in August. The number of people working reduced hours due to being sick remained elevated in August at around 760,000 people. This is around double the number we typically see at the end of winter. And there we go. Here's the seasonally adjusted figures. Uh, Unemployment and underutilization. The underemployment rate decreased by 0.1 percentage points to 5.9%. The underutilization rate, which combines the unemployment and underemployment rates, remained at 9.4%. 
Today's release includes analysis of hours worked. Yep, yeah, back to that. Okay, so we can see, guys, the unemployment rate has gone up for the ABS. Roy Morgan's sitting much higher, to be honest, than ABS, but that's always the case. But still, it's very low. It's very low. And well, let's have a talk about this, guys. I mean, what uh, I've spo- sp- <laughs> I'm talking to people in the construction sector all the time that are busy or well, starting to, we, they suspect we may have hit the peak, starting to quiet down, and just finding people is a nightmare. Getting people and getting staff is difficult and a challenge. Now, I'm not surprised that unemployment is low, but what we're going to see, there's going to be more calls to open up and bring more people in to address the skill shortages we have in many other sectors. And we all know what that does to demand for property and rental here in Australia. So, I mean, there you go. Now's the time. With unemployment at this lower rate, now is the time to be strategic and well, increase your wages. Go from one job to another. Get new opportunities. Improve your career prospects. So good luck to people. As always, guys, thank you for watching. Check out my other channels, Heiser Bim and Heiser Says International for other content that I create. And if you want to support the channel, there are a few ways you can, financially on YouTube or Patreon, using our referral links at Amazon, eBay, Independent Reserve or Aussie Broadband, buying our pocket squares or calling us if you need an architect. Take care, everyone. Have a great day. And I'll see you next time. There you go. Unemployment, 3.5%. It's doing well. And even 85 at Roy Morgan. Still pretty good. Still pretty good.